Morning everyone, welcome to Spongy Tours Live and we are situated today at the Southampton Docks. Well actually opposite the Southampton Docks at a place called Goaty Beach which is, it doesn't look much like a beach I know, which is um, uh, situated at the bottom of the Southampton water opposite the docks and there's uh, lots going on over there, lots of uh, export and import going on and this brings me nicely on to why I'm doing this video today. And uh, if you didn't already know, it is World Environment Day 2018 today. So what I wanted to share with you today was some of um, some of the things that I have been trying to do to um, try and be more sustainable within our environment and for our children's future. And actually, um, I'm not teaching you to suck eggs. So uh, it's only it's only, this is from my my point of view and my point of view only, and the things that I am doing to change. Um, my habits. So here we go. Number one is to eat less. Yes, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, but uh, you know, I'm 14 stone, and that's uh, two stone over my um, my preferred weight. And the reason for this is is because I'm a bit of a grazer, and uh, you know, I'm a little bit gluttonous. I have to admit, you know, and this needs to change. I need to become. Um, uh, more aware of uh, the times when I'm when I'm sort of picking and looking in the cupboards for food. Now, what this means is, of course, I'm not going to buy so much food. So, so much food doesn't have to be made for me. And if we all do our little bit, then uh, we can make a huge difference. And number two is to buy quality goods. So, in 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 particular, sustainables, things that we just chuck away willy nilly without thinking about it. You know, so. Um, you want to buy quality goods over cost goods. So I'm on the lookout for sustainables, uh, sustainable products, consumables, which uh, are more quality and are going to last a little bit longer. Uh, now, number three, you'll laugh at this, but it's to drive slower. Yeah, I know, boring. But um, I don't drive as fast as I used to, and I save a hell of a lot of fuel. Um, and I'll get to the same place safely. You know, and this is this is the thing. I think we we all feel like maybe sometimes. Well, I'm speaking from my perspective, but I suppose sometimes we feel like we uh, we're running out of time. We need to get somewhere quickly, you know. And we, we put we put the the foot to the floor to get there a bit faster. So that's something I'm I'm trying to to change. Last but not least, before I go, is try not to buy so much. Uh, uh, food or consumables that are encased in um, plastic film. So plastic film, they can't recycle or upcycle. So um, it's, uh, it's a problem. Um, I think there's companies trying to rectify this at the moment so they can start to recycle these things, put it back into the system. Um, but at the moment, it just gets chucked away. And um, so I'm trying to buy products. It's difficult, you know, to, to find products that aren't encased, especially food at the moment, that's not encased in um, in plastic film, but they are out there. We just need to make a little bit more effort to find them. So there you go. There's my four uh, tips that I've been trying to teach myself over recent weeks and months. Um, I hope they're um, of benefit to you, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.